Happy Wednesday, friends. I'm Andy Ross, pastor at Northminster Church, and I want to ask that age-old question, is the glass half full or half empty? And what if we have a new answer, right? Hey, I've got water. That's what matters. You see, I believe we who follow Jesus, it's not about whether your life is fully blessed or less than blessed, or even feeling like there's maybe just a few drops. We have the presence of the Holy Spirit in our life, which means our glass, even though we go through hard times, we still have Jesus. And that erases the half full, half empty question. Thanksgiving is coming up, and I want to share with you this great story of Pastor Martin Rinkert. He was a Lutheran pastor in the uh, 1600s, and uh, he lived in Eilenburg, Germany, and uh, times were hard. It was the uh, Thirty Years' War. There was a plague in his village that took people's lives on a daily basis, and there was an army outside the city sieging it, trying to get in, limiting food. So there was plague, there was a famine going on, a shortage of food, and there was a fear gripping the entire town of a military takeover. Pastor Martin Rinkert became, the story goes, the last pastor in the whole city that was living. And he would sometimes do up to 50 funerals a day for the people dying of such horrible conditions. In that situation, Pastor Rinkert held on to hope. He knew Jesus was with him and his people. And he became a key part of going out to the enemy army and working out a truce, which even included dropping to his knees with others and praying for God in front of his enemy. It's an incredible story. And he is the guy who wrote the words, now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices, who such wondrous things has done in whom this world rejoices. Now thank we all our God. It reminds me of that incredible Bible verse, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. 1 Thessalonians 5.18. This has been such a difficult year. Absolutely true. We have lost loved ones in such difficult and distanced ways. We have faced fires. Uh, we've had a wrenching, controversial election. And in all of this, we've been struggling with a deadly pandemic. But friends, our glass is not half empty. We have Jesus as our shepherd with us. Let's not give up hope. In all things, let's give thanks for the God who is guiding us through and will lead us to life, resurrection, and eternal glory. Just as a quick side note, this Sunday, November 22nd, we're going to be changing our worship menu. Eight o'clock, our contemporary service. Our traditional service is at 945 and then we'll have a multicultural American and African service starting at 1130. But our theme will be thanksgiving, giving thanks to God who has held us, comforted us, and guided us through these difficult times with the promise of hope, the joy of his peace inside, the glory of his love. So join us this Sunday online or carefully in person, but every day. Now thank we all our God. Lord's blessings to you.